Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, let us discuss the question on electromagnetism. So the figure shows an electromagnet is used to hold up a metal ball. Explain what happen if the switch is open. So if switch is open, meaning there is no current flow to the circuit. So initially, uh, the switch is on here. So it attracted to the iron ball. As you know, the iron ball is just uh, if you want to magnetize it, it just become a temporary magnet. So what will happen there when the switch is open? So when the switch is open, the sub iron core will de. Magnetize. So the soft iron core will demagnetize. If this is this demagnetize, it will not longer attract the iron ball. The iron ball will fall. Okay. So that's the first one. Then B. The iron ball is replaced with a steel ball. So as you know, again, steel is if you magnetize it, it will become a permanent magnet or it will retain the magnetism longer. So what will happen there if you open the switch? So when the switch is open, the ball still attached to it. So the ball, the steel ball is still attached to it, still attracted to it. Maksudnya, as it will become permanent magnet or as still retain it magnetism longer than iron. So that's how you answer the question. So okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, uh, let us continue from the exercise one. Okay, exercise 24.1. So this is uh, question number two. In the diagram, a permanent magnet is suspended from a spring. So it's a permanent magnet. So if you look at the diagram carefully, permanent magnet spring, soft iron, there's a circuit there. So what will happen actually? So if the switch S is closed, the current will flow to the iron soft iron here so iron core here so if you use the right hand grip rule right hand grip rule okay for example this is soft iron core the right hand grip rule okay so this is the direction of the current direction of the current is from from this diagram is downwards so the thumb is represent the pole being induced the north pole being induced so again from the diagram the lower part of the soft iron core is induced north pole whereas the upper part is induced south pole okay so that's uh, gonna to happen okay when the switch switch s is closed explain what happened to the permanent magnet so again if the upper part is induced south pole so like pole will repel each other okay this is south pole this is south pole they will repel each other what happened to the spring the spring will move upwards okay it will move upwards. Why it move upwards? Because the force of repulsion. Why are the repulsions and because like pole will repel each other. Okay, that's it. So how to answer this uh, correctly? So the permanent magnet will move upwards. Okay, because the end of the soft iron nearer to the south pole of the magnet is induced a south pole. Therefore, repel each other. Like pole repel each other. Okay. So B, when switch S is open, so the switch S is open, so there's no longer no longer current flow through the circuit. Okay, so this will become demagnetized. Okay, explain what happened to the permanent magnet. So the permanent magnet will return to its original position, or it will oscillate up and down due to the force of the spring. Okay, you took the force of the spring and gravity. It will oscillate up and down, but eventually it will stay at the same position, at the initial position. Okay, C. The terminal of the supply are reverse. So meaning the positive here, terminal will become negative. The negative will become positive. Okay, the switch is closed. So this is reverse. The switch is closed. Explain what happened to the permanent magnet. So the magnet will attract to the soft iron core. 
because unlike pole will attract to each other this will be induced uh, north pole whereas the lower part will become south pole so here the north pole and the south pole of the permanent magnet will attract it to each other okay d suggests what could be done to make the permanent magnet vibrate up and down so uh, one method we can change the supply from dc supply to ac supply dc is direct current uh, example you can use battery and to change it into alternate current alternating current okay that's it so again kita ni lihat lagi lagi balik uh, this is what will happen switch as is closed current flow to the wire or the coil okay the solenoid produce magnetic field okay the soft iron co magnetize use right hand grip rule the lower side of the iron induce no pole the upper side will induce south pole as like pole south south pole and south pole will repel each other okay Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, let us continue for question 4. Figure 7.1 show a coil of wire wound around a rectangular tube. So, a coil of wire is, if you still remember, is a solenoid. So, if you look at the diagram, it's a rectangular tube. Okay, inside of the rectangular cube is the iron roads, the two iron roads there. Okay, A, two iron roads are placed next to each other at bottom of the tube. Okay, when the current is switched on, okay, when the current is switched on, when this is switched on, the two roads repel each other. So this is a quite a very crucial or very important, uh, very important information there. Repel. So according to the law of magnetism, like pole will repel each other. So at least atau sudah kita ni tahu. Okay, they move to the side of the tube. So maybe this one move to the that side here move to this side okay so explain why the two roads repel so again uh, in this topic you learn about the right hand grip rule so in this question we have to use the right hand grip rule so the four fingers here is to represent the direction of the current okay whereas your thumb is to represent ataupun untuk menunjukkan the north pole being induced Arah magnetic material so we have to use the right hand grip rule use your right hand okay it just the your four fingers here is the direction of the current if we look here is upwards so it look upwards so here pointing the the magnetic field of the north pole being induced so at this side at the left end of the road will the polarity of the here will be north pole whereas the opposite side will be south pole again Uh, if we look at the question, why the two iron rods repel? So, because they are at the same polarity. North pole, north pole. Again, like pole will repel each other. This one, south pole, south pole. Like pole will repel each other. How to answer this one? Okay, when the current switch on, okay, when the current is switch on, the two iron rods are magnetized. Okay, they are ma magnetized because it's magnetic material. Both and iron rod are magnetized with the same polarity. So as, as shown in the diagram, left side is north pole, whereas the right side of the iron rods, right side meaning the right end of the iron rods is south pole. So again, it's very crucial to to use this statement: like pole repel each other. For question two, uh, sorry B. An iron rod and similar copper rod. So again, iron rod is magnetic material, whereas copper rod is non-magnetic material. It will be not magnetized. A place next to each other at the bottom of the tube. So the same experiment. They use iron rod and copper rod. Okay. State and explain what if anything happened to the rod when the current is switched on. So again. When the current switch on using the 
uh, right hand grip rule, the iron rod will be magnetized. So the iron rod will be magnetized. Here will be north pole, here will be the south pole. But the copper is non-magnetic material. It will be not magnetized. Again, it will not attract it to the iron rod, to the magnetized iron rod. So nothing happened there. So the iron rod and the copper rod will stay at the same position. Okay. So look at the answer, Zana. When the current is switched on, the iron is magnetized, but copper is not magnetized because it's not magnetic material. So both roads stay at rest, meaning remain at the same position. So you cannot see some attraction or repulsion forces there. So it's just stay stationary. Okay. So here this one uh, tips to remember. So iron is magnetic material, so it is easily to magnetize. Whereas copper is non-magnetic material, so aluminium. Mana tahu soalannya akan ubah to millennium, aluminium. So aluminium is non-magnetic material. So again that one. So hopefully in this question you are asked to use the right hand grip rule to find the polarity of the magnet. Whereas as to magnetic material, then you are asked to uh, some low of uh, magnetism like pole attract eh, sorry like pole will repel each other whereas unlike pole will attract to each other okay and then magnetic material and non-magnetic material that's it Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So question 5 A. Figure 6.1 So figure 6.1 Shows uh, views From above a compass needle Placed near a solenoid Which contain a bar of unmagnetized steel Okay So this is the bar of unmagnetized steel In the diagram The switch has not been closed So meaning there is no current flow to it Okay, and the compass needle is pointing to the north, so follow the geographical knots there. Okay, this is compass needle, this is north pole, this is a solenoid, a coil of wire, unmagnetized, this is the positive terminal, this is negative terminal, the current flow from positive to negative. So, to be see how sudah. Okay, on figure 6.1, mark the direction of the current in the wire when the switch has been closed. So, when the switch is closed, the current flow from positive terminal to the negative terminal, the power supply. So, you are asked to draw a mark the direction. So, mark a direction with the arrow. Let us nampak sini. Okay, that's it. Uh, number two, draw the direction of the compass needle after the switch has been closed. So, again, you how to answer this one? You have to use the right hand grip rule. Right hand grip rule, the four fingers uh, shows the represent the direction of the current flow in a coil in the wire okay whereas your thumb is represent the not pill not pole being induced on the unmagnetized steel okay so if you look here the current is shows upwards so you macam pigang the pigang kamu apa namanya unmagnetized steel atau kamu pigang so ni ke atas so arrow nya ke atas the direction the current ke atas so here is not pole so not pole being induced here okay so what will happen? Sana. What will happen to the compass needle? So this is north pole. So of course the north pole will attract to the south pole of the compass needle. Okay? So it will deflect or it will move here 90 degree to the left. Okay? As shown here. Okay? To the left. That's how you answer it. Okay? State what happened to the compass needle when the switch is open again. So when the switch is open again, so meaning there is no current flow to it. Okay, but remember this is steel. This is not iron. This is steel. If you still remember the properties of steel under this topic, the steel it can be permanent magnet or it can retain its magnetism longer compared to iron. Okay, so the direction of the compass needle. Because the question asks you about the compass needle, the direction of the compass needle point to the left. Okay, remain the same. This is because okay, 
This is because steel is permanently magnetized or retain its magnetism longer. So there, there must be some uh, attraction here or repulsion to the North Pole and attraction to the South Pole of the compass needle here. Okay. So de describe one method by which a magnetized steel bar could be demagnetized. So one method. So again, I, I'm using the question punya gambar. Supaya senang saja. Set up the apparatus as shown above, okay? But replacing the DC supply to the AC supply, because if you want to de demagnetize, you have to use AC supply, okay? With the AC supply flowing at all time, meaning on, there's the on the not the off, the steel withdrawn slowly, okay? The steel withdrawn slowly out along an east-west direction east-west direction okay until the nail sorry this is nail then until the steel bar little. okay until the steel is far away from the solenoid okay you can repeat this again and again until all it is demagnetized so that's it uh, if there is uh, another question here how do you know the steel is already demagnetized? So you have to test it. You test it, uh, put it, uh, place it near the iron nail or magnetic material. If it's not attracted, so it is compound is lose it magnetism. Okay. So again, this is some tips. So for magnetize, we have to use DC supply. Uh, if you remember the video the process is very simple you just switch on a few seconds and off it will be magnetized okay just using this uh, simple circuit simple diagram here you just set up a coil of wire okay using battery and then iron okay and thick materials and okay magnetize in any direction whereas to demagnetize you have to use AC supply okay this is to change the direction of the current okay which cause the distortion of the magnetic domain in the magnetic material okay the process meaning uh, the current is flowing huh? is always on and in east west direction meaning you have to put you have to make the unmagnetized steel here out slowly from the solenoid okay in east west direction okay that's it Bismillahirrahmanirrahim So exercise 24.3 Figure shows a uh, coil ABCD Rectangular coil there ABCD That can turn between the two poles of magnet Bar metal paper clips Support and pass current into and out of the coil So you look at the figure here This is current into 2A B And pass here Okay, to the current out the paper clip here. So this is the magnet, not pole. This is the magnet. So state the direction of the force on the side AB and CD. We look, if you look at the side AB here, so look at this diagram. So it's just a, a simple. Uh, what do you call that? The question seem to be complicated. But it's actually <laughs> you can make simplify the, the diagram using my diagram here. So not full again to answer this one you have to use Fleming left hand rule. So Fleming left hand rule you macam tim Fleming left hand rule. So <clears throat> father, mother, child. Ah, I got this from another video. This is uh, very interesting. Father, mother, child. Father F is false. M is magnetic field, C is the direction of the current. So, from North Pole to South Pole, 
Okay, the current is here from A to B. So it is upwards. The, my thumb uh, facing upwards. So the force is upwards on AB. If you look at CD, so again, CD, the current, the current is from right to left. So it's opposite. So again, using the your left hand, okay? So the first finger is the force magnetic field from north pole to south pole. This is the direction of the current, whereas your thumb, which is forcing downwards, so meaning the force is downwards. So again, force on AB is upwards, force on CD is downwards. So explain the reason for your choice of the direction. So again, uh, how to explain this one? You have to explain by using the Fleming left hand rule. So the first finger represents the direction of the magnetic field from North Pole to South Pole. The second finger is uh, to show the direction of the current, the flow of the current in the wire. Whereas the, the thumb is showing the, the force, the direction of the force. Uh, so from this diagram, uh, as you can see, the force on A, B is upwards, whereas the force on C, D is downwards. So, practice, practice, practice using your left hand. This is called Fleming left hand rule. Again, father, mother, child. Okay, force, magnetic field, current. Describe the movement of the coil. So, if you look at the movement today, this is upwards, this is downwards. So, if you look at the plane B, C, it seems to rotate anti-clockwise direction. So that's how I get anti-clockwise direction. So D, when the coil is turned through 90 degree, so the coil is turned to 90 degree, so that AB is close to the North Pole, okay, of the magnet, state the direction of the force on the side AB of the coil. So again, it's pointing downwards. Okay, sorry. It's pointing upwards. It's pointing upwards. What happened to the coil? So, what happened to the coil? Meaning, it will not rotate. Ataupun, it will not rotate continuously. Because it... Uh, this is how to explain this one. Uh, using the Fleming left hand rule, the side AB will move upwards. Okay, whereas the side B, sorry, CD will move downwards up to 90 degree, 90 degree, this plane ABCD, 90 degree, okay, then pass a little bit 90 degree, so side AB will move upwards. Side CD will move downwards, so meaning it will stay there. Okay, it will stay 90 degree. It will does not move, rotate anti-clockwise continuously at the Okay, so again practice practice using Fleming left hand rule. Sampai kamu paham apa.